Hey, I'm Hope and I'm going to walk you through how to use the optional rinse cycle. My brushes have just went through the cleaning process and this blinking pink light right here will show you that it's complete. Now let's go ahead and dump the dirty water. Before we begin, let's remove the excess water from the brushes. You want to grip the brush holder and you just want to pull up and you want to slightly turn it and then push down. And then you want to remove the excess water from the brushes by slightly pushing down on the brushes. To remove the excess water that is now on the cleaning surface, pull down the illuminated button for a full five seconds to run the drain. You can run the drain at any time. After draining is complete, the light will blink pink again to allow for the optional rinse cycle. Pour warm water directly onto the cleaning surface area. You want to fill up the cleaning surface area about halfway. Push the brush holder down until you hear a click so that you know that it is secure. Make sure that your brushes are loaded properly. Brush hair should not be flat on the surface. This position can damage your brush hair. Make sure that there aren't any brush hairs blocking the drain hole. Now that the brushes are on the cleaning surface properly, let's hit the blinking pink light once more and start the optional three minute rinse. If you need to pause the device at any time, you can press the button to pause while it's in motion. And to resume, just go ahead and press the button again. Grip the brush holder from the middle, pull up, turn 180 degrees, then you're going to want to slightly press down so that it locks into place. Run the drain once more by holding down the button for five seconds. You're going to want to swipe the cleaning surface area after each use to prevent makeup residue from sticking to the surface. 